everyone, my name is Karen. This is my channel, Rather Be Reading, and today I'm bringing to you my October wrap up. October was kind of a crazy kind of month. It was very like up and down in terms of like busyness and things that I was doing. I had finished in my previous job on the 27th of September and then I had three weeks off. So for like the whole first part of October, I wasn't working. I then started my new job on the 21st of October. Um, and then so for the past two weeks, I've been in a new job. So that's been a lot like, you know, it's always a learning curve going into a new job. Um, so that's been going on. So I was getting a lot read in the first couple of weeks when I was off work in terms of like actual like reading of like my library books, my physical TBR and like ebooks and stuff. It was not getting very much audiobook listening done. And then since I've gone back to work, I am getting more audiobook listening done, but still not as much as I used to just because I am still learning and everything at the new job. And when I'm learning and having to really take things in, I can't listen to audiobooks um, because I can't take in two <laughs> things at the same time. Um, so my reading in the past couple of weeks has been like kind of down, but then I was reading so much in the beginning that... It has still worked out to be a really great reading month, if I'm being like honest, like overall. But I was also doing a lot of DNFing, um, which I've kind of talked about in some of my recent reads videos that I've been doing. So anyway, let's jump into my statistics. So in total, I ended up completing a total of 30 books um, and I had an additional four DNFs. Um, which I'm actually surprised that it was only four, but I think, because I feel like I've DNF'd basically a, at least a book a week for like the past like five or six weeks, but obviously some of those weeks would have been towards the end part um, of September. So four DNFs, and then of the 30 books that I read, I read 28 novels and two graphic novels. I read 21 books in physical format. I listened, I sorry, I also read five ebooks and I listened to four audiobooks. So like I said, my audiobook like numbers are like way down compared to um, where they would usually be. And then excluding the audiobooks, I read 18 books that I own and eight from the library. I read a total of 10,954 pages, which averaged out to 353 pages per day. So I'm really happy with that average, considering that audiobook listening is normally what really brings my average up. And like, I wasn't really doing that this month. The shortest book that I read was 112 pages, which was one of the graphic novels. And the longest book that I read was 645 pages. The lowest star rating that I gave was I did give one book two stars. And then the highest star rating that I gave was I did give two different books a 4.5 star rating this month, which is really great. So my average star rating for the month averaged out to 3.49 stars, which is pretty good for me, honestly. I am now going to go through my the 30 books that I read um, and the ratings that I gave them. These are not ranked except for my least favorite and my most favorite, which I actually struggled with this month to decide which of the two 4.5 star rated books, which of them was going to be my favorite. Now, there are also four books in this out of this 30 that I haven't talked about on my channel yet. They will be in my next recent reads video, um, which will be coming up in a couple of days. I'll be filming that after I finish filming this. So I'll let you know what those books are as we go through though. So the books, the lowest rated and my least favorite book of the month, my two star rated book was Bay of Shadows by Samantha Wood. I had two 2.75 star rated books, which was My Name is Memory by Anne Brashears and Lying Out Loud by Cody Keplinger. My three star ratings were Safe Haven by Nicholas Sparks, Embrace by Jessica Shervington, Beloved by Toni Morrison, A Midsummer's Night Nightmare by Cody Keplinger, Innocence by Kathleen Tassaro, Notorious 19 by Janet Ivanovich, Prom Wrecked by T.H. Hernandez and Jennifer D. Giovanni, Through the Woods by Emily Carroll. I had a one 3.25 star rated book, which was Princess and the Fangirl by Ashley Poston. Um, I then had a bunch of 3.5 star rated books, which were Under the Harrow by Flynn Berry, Giant Days Volume 9, Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass, Friend Request by Laura Marshall, and Serpent and Dove by Shelby Maharan. I then had a couple of 3.75 star rated books, which were The Opposite of Everyone by Jocelyn Jackson, Crown of Midnight by Sarah J. Mass, and The Assassin's Blade by Sarah J. Mass. We then have my four star ratings, Love Letters to the Dead by Ava Delara, The Martian by Andy Weir, Sleep by C.L. Taylor, 10,000 Skies Above You by Claudia Gray, The Bride Test by Helen Huang, and sorry, Air of Fire by Sarah J. Mass. Now, Air of Fire is one of the books that I haven't talked about yet. 
Um, and then also four star rated was Hercule Poirot's Christmas by Agatha Christie, which I also haven't talked about yet. I had one 4.25 star rated book, which I also haven't talked about yet, which was Queen of Shadows by Sarah J Mass. And then I had two 4.5 star rated books. The first was Sadie by Courtney Summers. And then my favorite book of the month, which I also haven't talked about yet, was The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren. Um, that's it, I guess. Those are my statistics. Those are all the books that I've read with my least and most favorites of the month. Like I said, very kind of up and down in terms of like what was going on this month. Um, but still really great numbers overall. I should also, I guess I'll just kind of mention, I have already surpassed, uh, in October I surpassed how many books I read for the entire year last year, which I'm kind of amazed about. I expected to hit kind of this type of number um, by the end of the year. Like I expected to get to the kind of the same levels as last year, but I didn't expect to hit it like a whole two months earlier than I did last year. I really don't know how that's happened because it just seems like every year I read more and more. Like my numbers have just gone up every year, even though I'm not like... and. A couple of years ago that was made sense because I'd started listening to audiobooks which obviously increased my numbers because audiobooks are always like in addition to everything else that I read but um, I'm not sure since I started listening to audiobooks a couple of years ago how my numbers are still just like increasing every year because it's not like every year I'm like oh I'll really push myself I've got to read more than I did the year before but it just it just keeps happening for some reason and I'm not mad about it. So yeah, that is basically my October wrap up. I would love to chat with you guys in the comments down below if you've got any thoughts on any of the books that I've read or if you want to chat about how your October reading month went. What was your favorite and least favorite of the month? I would love to know. Please like this video if you liked it. Please subscribe if you want to see more from my channel. That is all I have for this video today. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.